Please subscribe the video. The old Winthrop Mansion stood as a silent sentinel on the outskirts of town. Its once grand facade had faded with time, and its windows stared blankly like hollow eyes. Locals whispered stories of tragedy and darkness that had befallen the mansion's previous occupants. Some claimed that the place was cursed, a haven for malevolent spirits that refused to let go. Emily had always been drawn to the mysterious and macabre, so when she heard about the Winthrop Mansion, she couldn't resist the temptation to explore it. Armed with a camera and her unyielding curiosity, she ventured into the decaying house one moonlit night. The air inside was heavy, as if the weight of the past clung to every corner. Cobwebs adorned the walls like eerie tapestries, and the floorboards creaked under Emily's cautious steps. Her camera flash illuminated the darkness, revealing fragments of forgotten memories etched into the faded wallpaper. As she ascended the grand staircase, Emily's heart raced, and the shadows seemed to dance around her. A faint whisper echoed through the corridor, sending shivers down her spine. Ignoring the unease, she pressed on, her determination outweighing her fear. In a forgotten room on the second floor, Emily discovered an old journal. Its pages were yellowed and brittle, the words within recounting a tragic tale of love and loss. The journal belonged to Isabella Winthrop, who had lived in the mansion during the 19th century. Isabella's love for a stable boy had sparked outrage among her family, and she had been confined to the mansion, forbidden from seeing her love again. Emily was captivated by Isabella's story, and she decided to delve deeper into the mansion's history. With each new discovery, the mansion seemed to come alive, its walls echoing with the sorrows of the past. She heard faint whispers, caught glimpses of figures in the corner of her eye, and felt a chilling presence that seemed to be watching her every move. One night, as Emily explored the mansion's eerie library, she found a faded daguerreotype photograph of Isabella and her lover. As she gazed at their faces frozen in time, a cold gust of wind swept through the room, extinguishing the candles. Panic surged through Emily as the room plunged into darkness, and she could sense a presence drawing closer. Desperate to escape, Emily fumbled for her camera and snapped a photo. The flash illuminated the room, revealing Isabella and her lover standing beside her. Their faces were pale and ethereal, and their eyes held a mixture of sadness and longing. The room seemed to vibrate with their presence, and Emily's heart pounded in her chest. With a burst of courage, Emily spoke to the spirits, expressing her empathy for their tragic fate and her desire to share their story. Slowly, the room began to brighten, and the spirits faded away. The oppressive atmosphere lifted, leaving Emily breathless but triumphant. In the weeks that followed, Emily curated her findings into a chilling documentary, revealing the mansion's haunting history. The film captured the attention of the townspeople, who were captivated by the tale of Isabella and her forbidden love. As the documentary aired, strange things began happening at the Winthrop Mansion. The mansion's decay seemed to reverse, and the once forgotten memories grew more vivid. The spirits of Isabella and her lover were finally at peace, their story acknowledged and shared. Years later, the mansion stood as a beautifully restored historical site, its haunted history preserved for generations to come. Emily's bravery had not only uncovered a tragic tale but also given solace to the restless spirits that had lingered for centuries. And as visitors explored the mansion, they could almost hear faint echoes of laughter and whispers, a testament to the enduring power of love and the indomitable spirit of the Winthrop Mansion.